regarding the injection nitroglycerin which is a very important emergency injectable drug commonly used in the medical wards regarding the doses and how to prepare the infusion state and what are the few complications we will see regarding those in this video the injection commercially available the nitroglycerin injection usually available in the form of 5 ml or 10 ml injections usually 5 ml 1 ml contains 5 mg so approximately 5 ml vials usually contain 25 mg this is the store uh, dosage form commonly available so what is the starting dose of this ntg in acute conditions like hypertensive emergency or even unstable angina chest pain acute lvf the starting dose described in the books is 5 to 10 microgram per minute this is the dosage which doesn't come under per kg basis as you see here it is only microgram per minute per kg is not mentioned so regardless of the patient weight the starting dose is approximately 10 microgram per minute how to prepare the dose so if we take it as per hour basis the approximately per hour dose is 600 microgram per hour this is the starting dose what is the maximum dose maximum dose is up to 200 microgram per minute it is not per hour like it is not a clear cut deadline maximum dose it can go beyond this also if required but most of the time the target will be achieved at a rate of 50 to 100 microgram per minute only so the maximum 200 plus also we can go theoretically the maximum dose mentioned is 200 microgram per minute so this dosage is very important to prepare the infusion set how to prepare the infusion set there are two types in icu setup where the infusion pump is available and in ward where the infusion pumps are not available suppose if the infusion pump is available we will start how to prepare the infusion set to give the targeted dose as i told one ampule contains 5 ml one ml is 5 milligram so approximately one ampule contains 25 milligram that is the clear cut dose so if we take two ampule it contains 50 milligram of nitroglycerin if we put two ampule of ntg in 50 ml of infusion pump that is 50 ml of ns so 50 ml of ns contains 50 milligram of ntg which is equal to 50 ml of ns equal to 50,000 microgram of NTG. Look at the conversion here. From milligram, now we converted it to microgram. So, what is 1 ml of NS in that infusion pump? So, approximately 1 ml contains 1000 microgram. So, approximately we have to give around 600 microgram per hour to achieve our target dose. So, in the infusion pump, you can set it a target dose of 1 ml per hour which gives around 1000 microgram per hour which is approximate almost nearby to 600 microgram per hour which is 10 microgram per hour sometimes if the patient is in acute decompensated failure the pp is very high you can start at 2 ml per hour also that gives a dose of 2000 microgram per hour which is approximately 30 to 40 microgram per minute so if the calculation is looking little bit complicated just remember you can start at 1 ml per hour which is giving about 1000 microgram per hour which is approximately nearby to the starting dose of 10 microgram per minute this is with respect to the infusion pump where the dose delivery is exactly according to the pump setting rate so next we will see in the ward where the infusion or in the places where the infusion pump is not available where we have to give the ntg in the normal saline drip how we have to prepare the this dosage form is like again two ampule contain 50 milligram this time 50 milligram will be put in the one bottle of ns that is 500 ml of ns so 500 ml of ns contain 50 milligram again converted into microgram 5000 microgram so 1 ml of ns contains 100 microgram of ntg if we put it in 500 ml ns bottle so we have to give a 600 microgram per hour as our target dose so you have to give 6 ml per hour 6 ml per hour 
gives 600 microgram per hour this is the target dose that we are going to give how to give as we know 1 ml is 60 micro drops if we do the micro drip set if the micro drip set is avail not available you have to use the uh, larger drops that calculation is 6 larger drops equal to 1 ml so since we are considering here the micro drip set 1 ml equal to 60 micro drops so 6 ml per hour we have to give which gives 600 microgram per hour 1 ml equal to 60 micro drops so 360 micro drops per hour equal to target dose of ntg so from hour you can put it to minute 360 micro drops per hour is equal to 6 micro drops per minute so this is the rate at which you have to set the micro drip set 6 micro drops since this dosage is going approximately you can start at 10 micro drops per minute also suppose if you are getting little bit confused with the calculation just one summary that to remember is if you are starting at the infusion set put two ampules in 50 ml of ns start at one mic one number per hour and increase it gradually as per the patient response you can increase the dose every five minutes to see the patient response till the time patient response is achieved so the maximum theoretical dose i have mentioned over there which is up to 200 the patient might not be requiring the maximum dose most of the time at the dose of 2 ml 3 ml 4 ml per hour the patient usually achieves the uh, desired target effect suppose if you are using it with ns bottle with micro drip set just remember 2 ampule put in 500 ml ns give it 6 micro drops per minute which is giving about 600 microgram per hour you can increase it as per the patient response it is not exact you have to start at 600 or 1000 approximately towards that range you have to start suppose if the patient is in severe volume overload what we can do just you make it as 4 ampule reduces to 250 ml you can reduce the drop rate also so this is how you have to adjust in a patient who are in severe volume overload just you make it as 4 ampule so that you can reduce the rate from 1 ml per hour to 0.5 ml per hour so you increase the number of ampule decrease the rate so decrease the volume of fluid the patient is receiving so from this slide only most of the practical adjustment can be done at least this is the rate overall a medicine resident have to remember because in ward acute pulmonary edema hypertensive emergency resident should be aware of how to use this ntg and how to prepare this infusion that the infusion preparation slide is over few points about this ntg this nitroglycerin basically causes vascular dilatation how it causes it binds to endothelium releases nitric oxide nitric oxide acts on cyclic gmp and it causes vascular relaxation so overall it causes vascular relaxation both venous and arterial at lower dose it usually causes venous vasodilation the rate for 50 microgram per minute approximately at that time it causes venous vasodilation at a higher rate it causes arterial vasodilation also overall it causes both vasodilation it also have antiplatelet effect these are the important actions of ntg so where are all it indicated it is the wonder drug in a patient with acute pulmonary edema in hypertensive emergency acute left ventricular failure these drugs within few hours of starting this drug patient respond very drastically so the indications are congestive cardiac failure since it have antiplatelet effect also in unstable angina to reduce the chest pain it reduces the after load also so the patient have relief in the chest pain also hypertensive emergencies acute pulmonary edema like secondary to left ventricular failure these are the condition patient usually responds to ntg and what are the common side effects the patient or adverse event since it causes vasodilation patient might develop headache because of the cerebral vasodilation it can increase the intracranial pressure but it is not a gross contraindication this patient is having increased intracranial tension we should not give like you have to wait between the risk and the benefit so it is a one theoretical factor it increases the intracranial tension because it increases the cerebral blood flow 
it can cause hypotension it is very very important whenever you starting ntg bp have to be monitored very strictly because it causes hypotension so that is why the nice you setup the bp have to be monitored very strictly before increasing the dose or at the time of starting ntg with hemoglobin it's a theoretical thing it can cause meth hemoglobinemia and other important point is the tolerance the NTG vasodilation and antiplatelet effect might wean off after a period of 24 to 48 hours. So how to overcome this? We have to give a gap of 6 hours at least after using NTG for 1 to 2 days. Most of the time, if you want to control the blood pressure, use NTG as an acute form, super add with other drugs and taper off NTG. Suppose if any patient is requiring it for a prolonged period, after 48 hours the, the response might be poor. So during that time you have to give a gap of 6 hours so that the patient response comes back so this is all about ntg with respect to how to uh, how to form the infusion drip either in the form of infusion pump or the 